Hey gang, it's Kevin with Mechanized Garage. I uh, have this 05 Silverado Duramax behind me. I'm going to be installing a uh, Air Dog 150 on. I uh, kind of already done a little bit of playing around with it and trying to decide where I wanted to mount it. But I figured I would uh, give you guys a little free pass into my circus and, and show you what I've got going on and how I'm wor working with it. So uh, I don't have a tripod and I don't have a videographer. So it's probably going to be uh, pretty nasty to watch but here we go Fling the old legs around. Make them go where I want them to go. Ready to go for a ride. That wasn't too bad, was it?
Just for the record, <clears throat> yes, you have to have an extreme amount of patience to be able to do this when you don't have a fully functioning body because everything will fight you every step of the way. And it doesn't help when you try to run your fingers over with the creeper. Obviously, whenever you're doing this, you have to make sure you clear the wiring harness up on the top. Make sure you clear your fuel lines, brake line. All right. Everything feels good. Everything looks like it's sitting good. Uh, I still need to tighten the pump down on the mount up here. And uh, get ready to get fuel hoses. I still have to install my fittings and a few other items. But... Uh, so far we're looking pretty good and I think I'm happy with it. <clears throat> I uh, set this thing up about as high as I could. Uh, for protection purposes I wanted to have it as high as I could but there's plenty of clearance between the cab. I don't have to worry about per se a cab mount failing or something and slamming down on top of my pump. So.
I'm all right. <clears throat> Next man of action. I have fittings put on the pump. Dog recommends uh, a little bit of oil on the threads and the o ring to protect it. I also recommend 15 foot pounds of torque. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have a little girl torque wrench. So, we're just going to uh, run a best guess here. It might be just a touch too much, but I don't think it's overkill by no means. <clears throat> I don't remember what I did with the other one. Hmm. Damn it. Ain't no good when your memory is like two seconds long. that thing. It's smart enough to leave the package. Of course, that sounds probably me running over it. Buy some oil. Okay, so 
I guess I'm going to go ahead and tighten up my pump. Get them done and over with before I wind up forgetting. I'm going to have to cuss myself later. Unfortunately, I don't know what size these are supposed to be. But hey, I guess I'm a good enough guesser because I got it. There we go, that's all that. All right, so now we're ready to start routing our hoses. And like I said, I have this uh, sump I installed on here and it actually has the return fitting on it as well. So my uh, returning from the air dog is gonna go back through this sump. Uh, I've already kind of routed the hose the way I want it. Have it setting up mimic like it's uh, gonna be on that barb fitting back there. I have uh, the fitting like it's going to be coupled onto the air dog up here and just kind of get the uh, best half-assed guess that you can give it. <clears throat> Hold my finger where I think it needs to be and then I've got uh, this PVC cutter here but it's uh, it's going to do the job good enough. I think it'll be satisfactory. give me a nice square cut. That's what I want. <clears throat> Take and put uh, just a little bit of lubricant on our fitting here. Help the hose. Like hell.
give it a little bit of twisting action while you're pushing. It does help. Yeah. Halfway there. Little. So close. So close, but I don't feel like I'm getting any further. Well, it's a, uh, another disadvantage of being a paraplegic with no use of your core. Kind of really limits what you can uh, do. But that's okay. Because I will get it figured out and I will get it on there. Because I don't know how to give up. Unless I got other hoses trying to come down and say hello. Okay, so, so finally got that daggone thing on there. And I ain't gonna lie, it took way more effort than it really needed to in my opinion. But I finally figured out the trick, which it's just a whole hell of a lot of cussing and grunting and determined if I put a rag over the end of it and push up against the floor of the cab I could get a little little harder push on it but still is a massive pain in the rear but hey that's how it goes make sure I'm gonna install this on the correct port here That sucker up pushed on there. The click makes me like it. There we go. There's our return. Now we're going to run our feed. All you people that have legs at work feel very considered lucky. You in that. So it's gonna sit there and feed there.
I'll get my rattling figured out here in a minute. I think I'm happy with that. I think that'll work out well. Now for this fun, joy, and pleasure again. So, once again, we'll put some oil on there.
So, what I determined helped quite a bit was if I put a uh, rag over the end here to keep any contaminants from getting in it. I can take and push up against the floor of the cab. More uh, solid and stable surface. And push. And it goes on just like that. It don't take no stinking 20 minutes. It don't take a bunch of frustration. It just goes. So, feed our hose back through. Connect it to the fuel in. Snap just like that. All right, I've got it fed up close to the steering shaft. Now we'll just have to see if we can located from up top. Get myself back onto my creeper here. Try to get my foot heading back where it needs to go. on legs are pain in the ass. If it wasn't for the hope of being able to walk again some here, I'd just cut the daggone things off. Oh, 
the struggle is real, my friends. Is it worth it? Sometimes no. But you know what? This wouldn't be any fun. Alright. I suppose a bunch of you are probably wondering how in the world I was going to deal with that wiring once I got it fed up to the top side. Well, I will show you how I work on the top side of the uh, cars that I work on the best that I can. I actually have got a wheelchair. I don't know how well you can see it, but I have got a wheelchair that will stand me upright and then I can just grab a hold of the fender if I stay back far enough and then I can pull myself over here into the engine compartment. So, where I had fed the uh, wiring up yesterday, I uh, The uh, wiring that I had fed up from the bottom yesterday, I don't know how well you can see down in there, but that relay and harness is right there, which is absolutely perfect because I won't have to fight to get it any further up. So, we'll uh, see if we can get this thing fed up in here and uh, we'll keep her safe. Okay, so I got the relay and harness pulled up through. Uh, it's routed to be the safest as possible. Now I just got to uh, pull all the extra wiring up. Um, like I said, sorry, this uh, <laughs> video is kind of on the pathetic side. I, uh, I don't have a tripod and I don't have a videographer. One of these days, maybe I'll uh, get one or the other, or even both, um, so I can make a little bit better videos and and uh, you know, bring bring a little better quality to you guys. I do this kind of stuff very often, and uh, I get told all the time that you know it's very inspirational. So I think uh, maybe it's time to start sharing a lot more. Uh, you know, with everything that I do. See if we can get this thing fed up through here. Alright gang, so I have got the uh, air dog lift pump installed, wired up. And uh, I've already started up and done a test run on it, and I figured I'd just close this video out, video out with uh, kind of seeing if I can show you what what I've got done and how it's mounted. Uh, probably ain't going to work out so well, but we'll try it anyway, right? I've got it uh, kind of tucked up in there the best I can to help protect it, because uh, I'd rather not knock them filters off in case I'd run over something. So, but. If you like this video, go ahead and like it and be sure to subscribe because I'm going to have a lot more flying your guys' direction.